You are the word at the beginning. One with God, the Lord must die. Your hidden glory in creation. Now revealed in you, our Christ. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. You didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great. My sin was great. Your love was greater. What could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is, what a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ my King. What a wonderful name it is, nothing can stand against, what a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus. Dun, 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 dun. That could not hold you. The veil told me for you. You silenced the boast of sin and grave. The heavens are roaring. The praise of your glory. For you are raised to life again. You have no rival, you have no equal, now and forever, God, you reign. What a powerful name it is, what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ my King. What a powerful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus. That could not hold you, the veil tore before you. You silence the boast of sin and grace. The heavens are roaring, the praise of your glory. For you are raised to life again. What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is, what a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ my King. What a beautiful name it is, nothing can stand against, what a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. Yes, there is none like him. There's no other name that can be compared to his name. He is the greatest. He is the best. He is all we can ever ask or think or need or desire. He has everything.
in the package of salvation it comes with every little thing that we need every single thing you need so it's another edition of a chapter a day aka a card for short on here we get to know who we are in christ the power we possess the things we can and cannot do we should or should not do so that we can live a successful christian life here on earth and end up spending eternity with god in heaven heaven in view that's the whole idea yes guys come on let's go welcome minister mag we are so glad to have you on here today we've missed you like crazy and we're glad that you're a part of a chapter day today and we know as always you always come with lots and lots of fire lots and lots of anointing lots and lots of things that god has poured in you to be a blessing to the world you know god always blesses us to be a blessing he doesn't just bless us for blessing sake he blesses us to be a blessing and of course if god is blessing you to be a blessing it means you're not supposed to be managing it means you're not supposed to be struggling right because only someone who has like more than enough can be able to help the next person ain't that you know but there are still some times that it seems like we don't even have enough when you see those times that you, it seems like you don't have enough and God is telling you to give, the reason is that what you have in your hand is a seed that you need to sow so that it's going to bear fruits. That's how it works. Because even when uh, um, I think Jesus was talking or John the Baptist was talking when he was in the wilderness, say he was two sheds, give somebody one. He didn't say he was one shed, remove your shed and give it. No, that's not wisdom. That's stupidity. It's not wisdom. But if God has to tell you to remove that your one share to give to somebody, he knows that it's a seed. Then he will not call it your stuff. It will be a seed that you're sowing and then that seed will reap a great harvest. So you need to know the difference. And that's why you need to have a relationship with God enough to know that you don't eat your seed. Because if you eat your seed, you ain't going to have a harvest. If it's planting season and you're eating your seed, you ain't going to harvest, darling. Because you won't have anything to plant. If you don't plant, you can't harvest. They say seed and harvest time will never do, it will never end. So you have to plant your seed to be able to harvest. So if you're looking like your life is looking like that time, like you have really nothing, practically nothing, and God is telling you to give. You remember the woman who met Elijah and she said, this is just the last thing she has. And you'll be thinking like, okay, Elijah would have said, oh, since it's the last thing you have, just go and eat with your child and then we'll pray for provision. No. It was a seed she had. We all have something in our hands that when we put it and it falls to the ground and dies, it will, it will just expand and explode. But sometimes we eat our seed. Sometimes we, we, I don't know. I just don't know. But I don't know who God is talking to today because sometimes we look at these things and we're like, well, um, what is God saying? Like, how can I, I don't even have anything. This is the last thing I have. How can God be telling me to give it out? If he's telling you to give it out, if you're sure beyond all reasonable doubt that is God telling you to give it out, then know that he considers that thing a seed. It's not your harvest. It's not what you have to eat. When, when farmers harvest, they have what they do as they keep the seed for the planting season. They keep the seed. So if you eat everything, all your harvest plus your seed, you'll be in trouble. So you need to have that relationship with God so much so that you can know what he wants you to do like you can know when he's saying this one that you're holding right now is a seed so give it away and you can know when he's telling you okay this is the one that you can eat this is the one that so guys we are waiting so 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 patiently to have minister mark come on and bless us first we always do the the um handing over we hand over the session to god so that god should be the one to lead because when god is leading of course everything turns out beautifully so we always hand it over to god let god lead us and after we do that we do the birthday party where we give people shout outs people in our birthday book then we pray for the birthday people then we now do the bible party and our bible party for today is psalm 93 and it has just five verses wow that's quite short psalms 93 and it has just five verses so that's going to be, well, we never know. Sometimes we have these very short chapters and they are so loaded with a lot of rhema that God brings to us. So you can never say that is going to be a short session. You can tell. But let's see how it goes. And then when we're done with the Bible party, we create an audio Bible and then um, we study the word of God together. So a chapter a day on here we get to know who we are in christ the power we possess the things we can and cannot do so that we can live a successful christian life here on earth and end up spending eternity with god in heaven heaven in view that's the whole idea you don't want to leave life on here and then you spend eternity in the wrong place nada 
No, you want to get it right here and get it right in the end, in eternity. So we also do um, a King James Version audio Bible and then we'll study the Word of God together. So we're hoping that you all are going to have a great time with us today on a chapter a day. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day you've made. We rejoice and be glad in you. We thank you for all that you've done, you're doing, and you're still to do in our lives. We thank you for all that you're about to do throughout this session of a chapter a day today. Lord, we pray that you minister to us in a special way as you always do. We've come with our hearts open, our hearts ready to receive from your throne. We have come with our hearts ready to be planted, for the word to be planted, so it's going to bear fruits. Lord, we pray that you teach us the way, show us the part. Let's not derail. Let's stay on course. Help us and teach us to abide in you always. Lord, every time we come in before your presence, we don't go back the same. There is always a difference, a positive difference, and we're grateful. We don't take it for granted. So, Lord, take preeminence, put now forevermore. Increase while I decrease, so it's going to be you and you alone. That will be seen, felt, heard, and experienced throughout this session of a chapter a day, and no one else. Let me fizzle out totally and completely. Any other person who is going to be ministering here, oh God, we all are going to fizzle out totally. It's going to be you and you alone that will be seen, felt, heard, and experienced. Lord, that you're going to give each and every one of us the mouth and the hands of a learned to speak and write a word in season to the hearts that are waiting, that are desiring. That you're going to use us, oh God. As those people that will manifest to the groaning nation that is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. We avail ourselves to use us. Lord, every manipulation from the pit of hell that will cause people who are supposed to be here not to be here will come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare that no matter what happens, they are going to make it to watch this video and be blessed and receive all that you have packaged for them throughout this session. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing and answering us. For in Jesus' mighty and blessed name, we pray with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say, Ejinomus, Amen. 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 Yeah, amen. So let's get on. Let's go on. Uh, now it's going to be the birthday party. So we have a couple of people who are born today. Let's get to Give them their shout out and then we pray for them. The first person is Mr. Ben. I got to know Mr. Ben at Innovare. We actually work together. Um, see, working and schooling is not bonbongo. It's not biscuits. It's not chocolate. So I really dug my heart for people who work and go to school. Honestly speaking, I tried it. It was so hard. I had to give up work. <coughs> I had to give up work. It wasn't funny. So I really, really respect people who work and go to school. So Mr. Ben was one of those people who was helping me when I just started working at Innovare. He was helping me to know my way around, to get things done, to be able to know how things are supposed to be done and all. I mean, like, literally when I got to that company, everybody did their part to make sure that I am comfortable and I'm able to do the things the way the company expects me, the company desires of me to do. I was really, really blessed to have a lot of amazing people who helped me on there. Mr. Ben is one of them. Thank you so much. The next person is Mam Eposi Haddison. Mam Eposi Haddison, we actually got to know each other when we're in high, when we're in secondary school. So went to the same secondary school together. Of course, we all have this amazing broad smile and laughter on our faces that god has released upon us you all know that i always say that about cigarettes cigarettes can laugh for the wall they can smile for the wall like they have this warm heart melting smiles i mean you can tell you can tell you know i'm not surprised when i realized that minister mag was a cigarette <laughs> She always has this heart melting smile on her face. Like you think this, this lady doesn't have issues. She doesn't have troubles. She doesn't have worries. Like I'm not surprised. It's our thing. I see that's what God does for us, you know. So Mama Posse Addison was actually like that. So one thing I would never forget about Mom uh, Posse was this. She had this lenses that is like, it's like double lens. Her lens was so thick. It's like double. So I remember one time, like, I, I think we we're running away from the class because something, some insect or something got into our class and everybody was running. So she was a class prefect then, so she was sitting just close to the door. By the time the people were pushing on in on her, I mean, I think she fell or her glasses fell and scattered. Oh my God. See us now to try to pick some of the small, small pieces to try to look at it. I almost passed out. Literally, it was so strong. Like... And she's very, very smart as well. She's also this maths kind of person. I love maths. My favorite subject is maths. 
people think it crazy yeah i love maths with a passion she also loved maths like that and she's also very tall like it was so cool i i used to see her, i used to look at her because that's how tall my elder sister is my elder sister is really tall so um i used to look at her like like that you know she's a very nice person we kind of disconnected after secondary school because i went to a different high school and then later on we reconnected again on our ex-student association that's how we got connected once again welcome on bella eve oh my god you guys know about love christ team please follow her on all our social media platforms and get blessed i can assure you she's also a woman of god on fire guys you know I'll always send you to places where your lives can be transformed right I'll not send you to places where you go and get confused. You go and get, I mean, you go there and you would have direction. You, I mean, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> Anyways, welcome once again. Okay. And then the next person is Mr. Tosin Ayo. Mr. Tosin Ayo, I got to know him through a mutual friend on Facebook. Like I always tell you guys, um, before, I never used to bother. I always used to be concerned about who I want to watch what I do. You know, like when you have people as your friends, your things go to their wall. When you post, your things go to their wall. So I was only concerned about blessing people. I was not concerned about learning from other people as well. So there were just too many people. I was just accepting friends requests anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. Up until I started seeing like, oh, you also need to grow. You also need to learn from people. You all so now I, cons I consciously get to choose people that are out in my space so oh so that's how i do because i'm a common readers association person i actually just go to post my mutual friends post and I, as i'm reading their posts i read the comments as well to have a broader view a broader perspective on some issues and it's really nice so that's how i got to meet mr tosin ayo his contributions to some posts of our mutual friends were really really amazing so we had to connect and then we became very good friends happy birthday to you mr tosin god bless you the last but not the least is Mam Akenji Sheila. We also got connected through a mutual friend. I think it's Mam Are Echi, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Either Mam Are Echi or I'm not sure, but I think it really should be Mam Are Echi. A lot of amazing people that I've really connected with on Facebook somehow. On Facebook, when it comes to my own country, a lot of people that I've connected to, they came from Mam Are Echi, from Mr. Awa Mika and who else there's one more person i've forgotten who that is you know that's how i connect with some people so on the mutual friends post i i really love the way she will comment you know there are people are all fighting quarreling insulting she'll just come and drop her one comment and just go away like you know you know that kind of drop the bomb she'll just drop the bomb and leave it was so nice and then i now had to go and check her profile and everything and follow up to see what she does i was just blown away i was like i was not wrong so I've sent her a friend's request and I sent her a friend request and like it has been so it's so nice and of course she's very pretty I will not forget her gift tooth I love gift tooth a lot <laughs> mom she loved just said this girl you you're not serious you will not change oh yes I, she has this really nice smile and she has a gift tooth so it's so beautiful when she smiles of course she's a very hard-working person she's into the media entertainment industry and she's really really doing a great job I remember sometimes she made a post where she was like Oh, a lot of times people think that because you're in this flat, you're, this is what you're doing as your job or as your business. So they just expect a whole lot from you, forgetting that you're also human. And so sometimes you have downtime. Sometimes you have, it's so hard. Sometimes you cannot help it. But people just have this too many high expectations of you that it's like they're expecting you to be an immortal or a god or something. You're still just human. But God is using you. But they don't get it. Anyways, that's by the way. So that's how I got to know Mama Kenji Sheila. She's a very beautiful person inside out. And of course, she's also in the entertainment and media industry. And you all know that I love media and entertainment. You know. That's my thing. Like, if God just tells me now that choose one thing that you want to do, I just want to do media, 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 media. And nothing else. Nothing else. I just want to do media, media, media. Creating media content that can bless people, that can inspire people, that can help people do some of the things they want to do. Maybe you want to travel. I, I have that in mind. I want to do that someday. Well, I'll show people like some really beautiful hotels that you can stay in that are very have affordable. Some really beautiful places that you can go to and have a quiet time and get to enjoy. One is coming up. Ah, Minister Man, I, I can't wait eh, for that project to get done. It's so beautiful. I can't wait. It's like I'm so happy. 
I'm so anxious. I can't wait for that project to get done. So I'll be sending you guys to all these places where you can go and have a quiet time. You can connect. You can actually connect with nature. You can connect with God. You can actually connect to your inner person. You can actually connect to the spirit of God. It's so beautiful. It's so natural. Like when Minister Mark just goes to that place and comes back, she's glowing. Like I don't, I don't know whether it's only me who sees it or it's only me who understands it, but it works all the time. So I know that if you guys come on here and you go there, you're also going to glow like that. I know without any idea of that. <coughs> I can say it without mincing my words because I know it's true. It's so real. So that's it for the birthday people. Welcome, Mr. Ben. Um, happy birthday to you, Mr. Ben. Happy birthday to you, Ma'am Eposi Addison. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Tosin Ayo. Happy birthday to you, Ma'am Akenji Shila. Happy birthday to all these amazing people. And I'm hoping that you all stay and listen to your prayer. Claim the prophecies that will be made through the prayer. And God is definitely going to bless you. So let's pray for the birthday people. Like I always say, we're not just praying for the people who are older right now. We're praying for every single person. We're not just praying for the people that will call their names in the birthday book. No. We're praying for every single person who was born today. Even the ones who are getting born right now. I always add that part. Because three years from now, four years from now, you know, like three years from now, like maybe the generation, the same we're under generation, forget it. Like the generation that is coming after us, maybe three years old, two years old, will be manipulating computer and you'll be shocked. So of course they can stumble upon this video and if they do, then they will receive their birthday prayers and all that kind of stuff, right? So yeah, fair enough. It's for every single person who is born today. So maybe three years from now, you're going to see this because it was your birthday and you're going to claim it and it's going to work for you. I believe that with all of my heart. So get it all right. Get it all right. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's pray for the birthday people and come right on. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready or not, here I come. Father, we thank you for all these amazing people who were born today, oh God. We thank you for adding a new year to their lives, oh God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor and adoration because you're the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you open the windows of heaven upon their lives and pour out the treasures of your blessings upon their lives. Rebuke every devourer in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, cause them to increase, oh God. Let them increase in wisdom and stature, gaining favor before God and before men. Let their... Gifts make a way for them, causing them to stand before kings, not before me, men. Let them keep shining brighter and brighter onto the perfect day. Let your word be a lamp onto their feet and a right a light to their part, O oh God. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you cause them, you give them all that it takes to go conquer their world in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you write beautiful stories on the pages of their lives, even as you open it today, all to the glory of your name. Lord, cause them to stand out and not fit in. Anybody who is fulfilling purpose and doing your will in their life, they definitely cannot fit in but stand out. So, Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you lift them to the top and teach them all that it takes to permanently stay at the top. It's not just about getting to the top, it's also about staying there permanently. <coughs> And only you can lift one up and bring another down. Lord, cause them to stay humble so that they'll continuously stay at the top, all to the glory of your name. All the strategies, you're the master strategies. So we believe that whatever strategies or techniques you give to them, oh God, to use to stay at the top will be the best strategy that could ever be given to anyone. Father, I pray, oh God, that you're going to cause them, oh God, to increase, cause them to shine, cause them to, 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 to be a blessing. Bless them as you bless them. Let them be a blessing to their fellow friends and relatives and loved ones all around them. Lord, do for them that which no man can do. Father, I pray that you divinely connect them to people and things that will cause them to be their best and grow. You divinely disconnect them from people and things that will cause them to stagnate or retrogress. And Lord, I also pray, oh God, that you're going to lead them to the part where you want them to be. As they keep fulfilling purpose and doing the right stuff, oh God, when they get to this place where they feel overwhelmed, they feel like they want to give up or back out, they'll hear a clean, loud, clear voice that would say, this is the way, walk down in it. They'll walk on that path and they'll not derail, they'll not stray. Thank you, Lord God, because I know you always hear and answer. Be thou exalted, O God, above all the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Lord, we worship you, O God. We magnify you, O God. We celebrate you for your faithfulness. Lord, perfect all that concerns them. Give them a Psalms 126 state, a state of continuous laughter, singing, rejoicing, and dancing. And if you're tired to come, they'll be here sometime next year. 
giving all the testimonies of all the awesome things you've done for them because this will be their best birthday yet. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you do for them things that only you can do. Open doors for them that no man can shut, and shut every door that is not of you in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, bless them with the choices of your blessings. As the blessing encompasses them as a shield round about, no weapon formed to fashion against them shall prosper, and any tongue that rises against them in judgment you shall condemn in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let money meet money in their pockets, blessings meet blessings in their lives, favor meet favor in their lives, even as you clothe them with a the garment of praise, honor, and favor. Lord, they will not derail the path, they will not stray. They will be the ones that you use, O oh God, to be the manifestation of those who are waiting and groaning and waiting and expecting you, O oh God, to manifest to them. Lord, we say thank you. We appreciate you. We know you're a God who never fails. You're a God who never sleeps nor slumber. Take all the glory, both now and forevermore, because you deserve it. For in Jesus' mighty and blessed name we pray. Open their eyes to see those they are supposed to be destined to help us. So to help these people and strategically position themselves to help continuously if they have to. And you're also going to technically and strategically position their own destiny to help us all around them. So that when they also cry out for help, help is going to be made available to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Guide their steps. Lead them aright. Show them the way. They would stay on course and they will stay on track. Every time they get to that point where they want to give up, they'll hear a clean, loud, clear voice saying, this is the way, walk that we need. They will not do it, they will not stray, they will stay on course, all to the glory of your name. Cause their focus to be unto heaven. When our focus is unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith, we will not give up, we will not back out. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, because we know you always hear an answer. Let their focus be right. Let the things they do be perfect. Whatever they lay their hands on, prosper. Wherever they tread their feet upon, give it to them as a possession in the mighty name of Jesus. We're trusting in the word of God. We're holding on to the word of God. Thank you, Lord, because we know you always hear an answer. In Jesus' mighty and blessed name, we pray with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say a ginormous amen. But I sing the amen. 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 Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their life. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be. In their life, let it be so. Amen, 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 amen. In their life, amen. As we have prayed, amen. Let it be in their life. Super prayers, amen, 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 amen. With the blood of Jesus, amen. Let it be so, amen. In their lives, as we pray. God bless you all tremendously. I may fill your bands with all good things and enlarge your coast and do for you that which no man can do but him i always get to say i love you so very much but god loves you way way more have a blast happy birthday bisu atu okay <coughs> it's time for the bible party let's get on our five verses Let's read that and get on with what we learned for today. And Mr. Max says, Amen. Happy birthday to all the celebrants, both in your big book and those not in there. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. So let's get ready. Ready or not, here I come. Psalm 93 it is. Let's go. Psalm 93. The Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Wherewith he hath girded himself, the wall also established, that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old, thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, forever. That's short. This is the word of the Lord. And all the saints shall say a very giant thanks be to God. Are you all ready? What did you learn? What did you learn? Let's go. What did you learn? Welcome, pretty minister man. We have missed you on a chapter a day. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying to myself that if this network just plays a hard one on us, princess will break that phone. In short, me myself, I'll break this one. <laughs>
Yeah, I hope God knows. God, God could never make that happen. I beg. He knows that day. we need to be on this live today. So how has it been? What well, missed you? How was your retreat? That's fine, 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 fine. I can just summarize it with a little song, if you permit. Oh me. yeah, go ahead. Oh, so God, Almighty God, I give you praise. Awesome God, you are an awesome God. Yeah, you fire people, take it from there. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. It's really an awesome God. God is totally and completely awesome. I've seen His hands in my life, in the life of my friends, relatives, and loved ones. Like, God has been spectacular. I mean, this season. So I remember, you know, they've just spoken about testimony on this thing, and then I remember something that happened to me. So um, on my live stream, anybody can go back and listen so you know what I'm talking about. You know these things when you make a bold statement and then the enemy gets mad? Like, you make a bold statement, I'm a child of God, this and this and this can't happen to me. Then the enemy will not come to you and say, you think it cannot happen to you? Okay, so let's go. So, like, on that live stream, I said... Hmm, that when I got the understanding of divine health, I can't remember the last time I took drugs. I can't remember the last time I went to the hospital. I can't remember, like, I was saying something like that. Yesterday, I cannot even explain what was happening. I just started feeling like my whole body is just hot. Like, it, it felt like every part of my body was, was hot, like, painful. It was, like, my joints were, first of all, making one kind of way. Hmm. I was just laughing. I started laughing. So I started telling God that, God, can we just skip a chapter today today? And then I'm like, that's you giving into this thing that you're feeling. You better not. So I was downstairs, and then I actually forced myself and realized that I went upstairs. I, I put everything together, set up and everything. And then I was about to start. Then my younger brother calls me and gives me this news that is not even funny. It's like they were just breaking my body into pieces the more. I was like, wait, what is going on? Like... I, you know, brother, I finished the call, dropped it there, continued. I said, as long as I've already set up this thing, I will go live. I don't care how I feel. Even on the live, I was saying, like, if you know how I'm feeling right now inside, you will not understand. Like, that's what I was saying on the live stream. I thought that that was even, like, it was just the tips of it, though. When I finally finished the live, I came and laid down. I was about to sleep. My chest just started hurting. I mean, I was literally hitting my chest like, what is going on? It's like my chest was not stuck. How, how did they say that thing? It, it was just like it was hard for me to breathe. And then when I struggled to breathe, like my chest is like, I was like, Devil, you lie. You see me so? I'm not sick. I cannot be sick. Eh? Do, do ya. Give it your best shots. You see me so? <laughs> I said it and I'm still saying it to you. I don't go take drugs. Hey. <laughs> I mean, my head started pumping like it was going to explode. I was like, wait, so <laughs> look me fine. You see me? Like, it took me like four hours to keep saying and saying it to myself over and over. I said, they will lie, not believe. me. Try another thing. It's not this one. You cannot get me. Oh, my God. I just pray, said those things, said those things. And I said, I know that you're fighting me because of what I said. And I'll still say confidently. Now, make this. God don't heal me before, not be now. Like, I woke up this morning, eh? Prim and pro. I seen, like, me self who got the shock. Like, I see if I did not pray. I prayed, though, and slept, then woke up, and I was shocked that I am perfect. You know that the way? I, and then I, I just said to myself that, and this is how people of the world just go. You saw somebody yesterday, the person was all happy, all over the place, and then they just slept in the night and boom, they could not wake up in the morning. Because like that now. Because me, I believe that if I didn't pray and call on God and all those things, who knows what would have happened to me? It was like I could not, it was like, then my head, it was like my head was heavy. Like if I just put it like that, it's as if my head was going to fall. I woke up this morning, prim and prom. I said, David, you lie. You see me so? Hmm. Praise God. Praise I God. Mean, praise God. God, God is too, he's an awesome God. It's, I saw your comment where you say, are you really dwelling in the secret place of the Most High? Some of us will come and beat the secret place. 
But we want the blessings of staying, of dwelling in the secret place. It didn't work so no. When you want to call a person, if you want to really have a conversation with the person, would you beat the person by beat to be able to have that conversation? No, you call. When you call, then you have a conversation. But some of us will come and beat the presence of God. But we want the blessings of somebody who has called. Who has called. Like or even there. gone there. I'm not, or even gone there. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it doesn't work like that. So you're seeing Minister Mark here shining and glowing, and you're getting angry that God is blessing and God is doing things for her. Do you know where she has been? Do you know what she <laughs> has gone through? Do you, I, like, you better just behave yourself before. I'm telling you, God is too, too awesome. He is just too awesome. Sometimes the enemy will bring some things to you and try to press you so that you confess some nonsense. That's what I realized at one point in time that sometimes when you just start confessing all those things, hmm, he didn't say the one and this. Boom, it will just be there. He didn't say the one. I say, you see me like this. Me, I carry the blood of Jesus. So now it's I don't know about all these things. I don't even know their name. I don't even want to know what that thing is. Ma, this is a man just call and say, and this is, I've forgotten what I had to call that thing. I, me, who, when I was younger, they operated me twice. Me, they operated me twice. But for as long as I can remember, I, I don't, I've not gone to the hospital. Neither have I taken drugs. It, like, and it was only when I saw that thing, oh, I saw some scripture that says that we have divine health in Christ. Because we all cannot dwell in the blood of Jesus. And I, me, I knew. So that the blood of Jesus is dwelling inside my system since I accepted Christ. So why? Why? If I know I allow you to have your feel on me, you are crazy. Ha. It is well. It is so, so well with us, the children of God. The enemy will mm -hmm. fight you at all point, so don't think that he'll sit there and be looking at you and be excited that you're having a, you know, hmm, don't think I'm all. The enemy doesn't like you to prosper. He doesn't want you to get those things that God wants you to get. So he will fight you at every point in time. All you need to know Prince. is that God is with you all the way. <coughs> Princess. Yes, so. Princess, I started this journey what people might call sick, right? Yeah. And when I went to church on Sunday, you know, I was praying and I was asking God, Papa, is this how I'm going to start this journey? I had <laughs> headache and my stomach and all of that. And then through the service, he kept repeating, just be praising, be praising. And the, mm -hmm. the topic of the, of the predication, the, the teaching was our God of hope. Wow. So before the end of the sermon, the, the headache had gone. And the stomach was trying to, you know, behave. But I knew that it was also the dread of starting on this kind of a note because I've never, I've, I mean, I haven't started like that. I'm always in very high spirits and everything. Oh. And then yeah. I had to, I had to be at home and all of that. So it was kind of like, but I, I knew that I had to hold on to God because yeah. He's Almighty. So He knows it. If He says do it, then He's going to see me. He knows you can. So. The instruction was on Monday, you don't leave your room unless you go to the restroom. I didn't even go to the parlor kitchen, nothing. I was only in my room. The boys kept coming, and it was a public holiday. The boys kept coming into my room. Me, I did not leave that room. And until at about three o'clock, I was not doing well. But, you know, I kept praying, I kept praising and everything. And then, whew, suddenly, I was good until I put on a nice dress. I put my earrings, and then I did even in devotion, and then I praise wow. and praise, and that is how it just continued, you know, Tuesday, yeah, Wednesday, I went for Bible studies yesterday, this is it today, it's just so beautiful, yeah. You need to trust God, see, when God says a thing, he means it, God will not say a thing just for saying sake, when he says it, he means it, and he will do just what he has said, when you were saying that, I remember the movie that I just watched recently, and I said, this month is my month of praising God. I'm not praying no prayer. I'm just going to be putting praise and worship music and dancing. Hours, 30 minutes, 15 minutes. I'll just be putting praise and worship music and be dancing. That's my this thing for me. That's what I'm going to be doing throughout this month. I'm not praying nothing. I'm not asking God nothing. I am just dancing and praising him and worshiping him. I, I watched this movie. <coughs> the title was, I think, Just One Thing, something like that. 
just one thing. So this woman had issues, lots and lots of issues. And then as if it was not enough, the child had an accident and the child was in a coma for, I don't know what it's three days or something. The woman was begging that God, you've taken my husband from me. You've, my husband's people have taken my property. Now you want to take my daughter that is my only small, the only place where I, I kind of find comfort and everything. She was begging God that they should pray, that God should. You know what God told them to do? They rallied. At that, thank God that they had a family, like church family, you know, the family really, the church really stood by her. So the church rallied the prayer warriors and everything, and they were praying and praying and praying. And all of a sudden, God told the pastor that they, they should switch to praise. You know, you're like, praise God. See, the things of God eh, might always look or sound foolish, but when you obey, like, the first thing is to be sure that this is God telling you. Let it not just be out of your emotions. But I don't even feel that you would, that thing will be out of your emotions because on normal basis, when you're in trouble, you just want to pray, pray, pray. You just want to keep talking to God about the thing. Let him fix the thing. So your normal, regular emotions will not tell you to praise God. It can only be God who will tell you to do that, like a strategy. So he said, the, the, the Lord told them to switch to praise. So he's going to call the the whatever, the, praise, the prayer team, the intercessors, that they should switch to praise. Nobody should be doing it again. They should just be praising God at all. Told the other, the lady, it did not, did not make up to how many, this in, how many minutes, a nurse just went into the child's room and while they were praising God, so we now were the ones seeing what was happening. While they were praising God, some three men, like doctors, came into the child's room did some things, did some things, and then the child just woke up. So the nurse was coming into the room, and then she looked at the child. She was, sh he, she was shocked. The child had been in coma for how many days? Like, she was shocked. So she called the doctor. The doctor came. They checked her. They said they need to do so. They need to run some tests. She said she's fine. The child kept saying she's fine. See, eh? when God tells you to do a thing, child of God, do the thing. You will shock at it. You will be shocked at the results. And that's when you know that there is no man. Because of, of the things we always want to do, yeah, it's how much I prayed, it's how much I called on God. No, but God tell you that switch that one now. Most that praising. You know, like it sounds stupid that you're praising God instead of going to take drugs, instead of going to do this one, instead of going to do that one. I remember I said someday that um, you have headache, you take paracetamol, you have tummy ache, you take this thing, then now you have tumor, you want to exercise it. It's not so to fear. Go do your operation. Now go meet the doctor that will operate you. Go do operation. Pray to me the operation go on successfully. That's what your faith can carry you to do. <laughs> you're not exercising faith. You're exercising fear. Go do operation. Like, you know, that's what faith is trying to do. And you have to build your faith muscle. Nobody just goes into the gym and they're starting and they just pick up 100 kg this year and start lifting. All right. They start building their muscles. They start with 2 kg, right? They've gotten used to it. They now go to 5 kg. Now they've built the muscles strong again. They now go to 10 kg. They keep increasing like that. Yeah, oh, you just want to come over one, 1 kg, go for 1,000 kg. Your muscles go tear. <laughs> it is well. It is well with us. God's ways are past finding. His ways are not our ways. We need to trust His ways. It says, the Lord reigneth. He's clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he had girded himself. The world also established that it cannot be moved. This is for children of God. It's not for everybody. So just as God is clothed with strength and he's the one reigning, he, he has given you as a child of God that authority to also be able to reign like that. To also not to be moved. Like, you know, of course, on, honestly speaking, before, when I was not born again, if that thing that was happening to me yesterday... <laughs> The way I would have been in panic mode, eh? <laughs> I, I, don't even, I don't even understand. Yesterday, I was having this conversation with one of my sisters, my host. I was having a conversation with her. And we're talking about how this man of God, there was a man of God whose wife was traveling with the children and three girls or something. I, I can't remember exactly, but it was three children. The children died. Only the wife survived. And he still did the crusade of that day. Like... The people around him were worried. They wanted him to sit down, to just leave it and mourn. He said no. That the Holy Spirit told him that there are souls that need to be saved. He went on. 
They called him hours before he was supposed to mount the pulpit that his three children have just died and his wife is in the hospital or something. They were taking care of her because they had an accident and that. And he mounted the pulpit and preached. I said, God, I want to get to that level. So sometimes we're looking at it has to be that big, that dramatic. But it wasn't dramatic yesterday. My younger brother was in a messed up situation. And he just really speaking to me and I had to go live. I've been begging God before my younger brother even spoke to me that I should not go live because of the way my body was feeling. <laughs> I said, God, I want to get to that level. She goes, he goes start with you now, this small, small one, they know. <laughs> princess, princess, princess. Yes, when, when you believe that the Lord reigns, right? Yeah. And all of that. Then whatever it is he wants you to do, do it. you will do it. Whatever is yeah. happening around you, you will first do what yeah. this Lord, this almighty God wants you to do. Oh. Then you can attend to the other ones later. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's is, true. Is he not, the, oh, is he not the, the Lord and the all of that? Is he not? Oh, my goodness. Who will comfort you? Who, even no. if that man has started and started crying and rolling and traveling to go there, what if something happened to you? Just do the crusade. When you get down, then go and look at it. Go and, you know, some kind of things, right? The Lord can do it any way. The Lord could as well have told him even before the other started getting worried. Okay, you go and take care of your family. Or the Lord can say, you take care of my family, I will take care of your wife. No. You, like you that. really never know. Yeah. That's good. Like that. They said, um, even one other person, I think it's Bishop Ducky Ward Mills, just recently, I think this year or last year, his son, his first son, a doctor, like, I mean, a big doctor, he died. He was doing a certain um, program they call Healing Jesus. He was on the program doing it. They called him and told him that his son was there. He continued, like, I said, Lord, I want to have that kind of grace. Like, I want to have that kind of connection with you. So now you're expecting that your own will also be that dramatic. But it will not be that dramatic. I said how I was saying, I was telling you the last time I was saying that, Lord, don't brag about me. You brag about me. Maybe I will fail you. And he said he has done it several times. Because we're expecting that, oh, you should have as many things as Job had, then God will take it away. You should be that kind of big, big, big person. Then God deals with your help. Then God allows the enemy to deal with your help. No, 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 no. Job's 1,000 cattle could be like your maybe one thousand dollars you lose one thousand dollars jobs um, um children could be like your family member or somebody or your job you know you lose your job like that so it's not supposed to be as dramatic as that one the dramatic is based on you and your level that you are at the level that you are at that your one thousand dollars is like jobs or entire cattle I, there used to be sometimes I'll lose like my $100. I'll go cry something. Then there was a time that I lost about, about $3,000 or something. And I was just like, me self a shock. Say, I don't worry. Like, I was not gyrating and scattering places, you know. I was shocked. That is God, though. It's, it's, it's not like on normal basis, I would just be normal. It's God. It is God. And he has taken you to the point where you understand that eh, all these things that you have and you are, it's not your own. It's his own. So if you collect, I don't collect them. If you lost them, you don't lost them. But you've not lost him. You've not Princess, lost him. so. Yes, so. Princess, I have to go. You know, I'm going to court. But I, I, but I, yeah, but I just want to share this. We spent some time. I just yes, want to share yes. this. Uh, reflecting on verse 2. That the Lord's throne is established from from of old, and He is everlasting. So you remember when we always say uh, there's nothing that we can do that will shift God's. You know, we, He's God all by Himself. Oh, yeah. and I remember a time in my life when I was very angry at God, and I said, "I give up on you." And later on, now I come to your life. So what did I do to Him? So who I were you? Nothing. Who, who were you dealing with or who were you putting on the back burner? Because when you do that, you sit on your side, things happen to you. There's no, he cannot help you because you have already said, stay your corner. Me, I don't want to have me nothing to yeah. do with you. Yeah. But he still continues to be God. You know, so um, I just want to share that we should know that God is, he's who he is, you know, yesterday, today, and forever. 
it is for us to really seek him diligently you know and he's That's such true. an awesome god that he's so you know this kind of king who doesn't show up who is instead very loving and very all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. That's who, that's who he is to me. And that's why I love spending a lot of time with him. My love language is quality time. So oh, it's, yeah. it's the normal that I spend all the time that I can spend with him. Like I get up at night, do this, go everywhere. I just, I'm just beholding him. Just beholding his majesty and everything. So when I, when I read this psalm this morning, I was like, ah, Papa, if I can just go on uh on a card and then just share this to encourage someone to oh, yeah. you know that song taste and see that the lord is good he is already god and lord and all of that That's just true. taste now come what is it that is dragging you away that was all i wanted to share this morning oh thank you so much Mr. Mark. i am so so grateful every time you come on a chapter day, we are just so blessed we are just so favored and we don't take it for granted we don't take it for granted because truly sometimes the sacrifices that we make sometimes we're just like well what what is so special you know what is so should i even do this like it doesn't matter when god has given you a message avail yourself and give it to the people that it's meant for sometimes it's not just for you sometimes it's not even for you at all it's for some other person so when he sends you to go give it out go give it out and i really appreciate the fact that you always take out time to come and bless us i'm really really grateful <laughs> Thank, Thank God. I, 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 think, I think tomorrow I'll be home all day by the grace of God. So I would be on a card or two. Yes, yes, yes. We're I, always I've already received two calls from my client. So let me get going. We thank God for everything. Okay. Have a great Bye. day. God bless you. Love you. I love you too. Ciao. <laughs> okay, guys. That's Minister Matt. She always comes on here and she's a total and complete blessing to us. I am really always grateful to have her on a chapter a day. And you see, so God, just like you said, God's throne is established forever. He's God all by himself. Whether you do the things that he wants you to do or not, he's still going to be God. He doesn't stop being God because you're not doing the things that he wants you to do. He does not become less God because you're not doing. He does not become more God because you're doing. No, what he tells you to do or not do is for your good. When he says don't do, he wants to save you from trouble. When he says do, he wants to give you the best. So it's up to you. Whether you believe it or not, it's not going to change God from being God. He's going to still be God. So you need to check these things out. His throne is established from an old. Of course, he was in the beginning, he's now and ever shall be. His throne has always been established. There's nothing that you can do or not do that will make his throne not to be established. He says, thou art from everlasting. He had been from time immemorial to time past. Time past, time present, time future. God is in there. And one more, like that's the best, that's the more reason why you should be able to trust him and depend on him and rely on him because he knows the past, present, and future. He is in the past, present, and future. So you should trust him more because he already knows what's going to happen in front. He already knows what's going to happen ahead. So he's the best person to give you strategies and techniques on how to live your life better so you don't lose it, right? <coughs> Sorry, guys. Let me fix this. I forgot. Can you all hear me? I hope you can. Okay. And then um, verse 3 says, The floods have lifted up. Oh, Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their ways. It, they say that even, the, even nature, nature praises God. Nature sings unto God. And so some of those times, that's the way that nature is praising God. That's the way that water is praising God. That's the way and all that. And, and God has said, if we don't praise him, he'll raise stones to praise him. But not in my time. Not in my time. God will not raise stones to praise him in my time. I will praise God. I will praise him from everlasting to everlasting. I will praise God as long as I have breath. No. Animals will not praise God in my time. Nature will not praise God. It's me. Me. I'll praise God with all of me. Yesterday we were saying, I said you can use your hands, you can use your fingers, you can use your legs, you can use... Use every part of your body that is able to be used to praise God. Use every musical instrument that you can. The natural ones, the ones that are man-made, use them as much as you can to praise God. He deserves all the praise and the worship. He does. He really does. And it says, The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Yes, God is mightier than all these things. God is mightier than too many things in the world, not only the waves, 
God is mightier than all your troubles. He's mightier than all your problems. He's mightier than every single thing that is going on in your life that is happening around you. God is mightier than those things, you know. And it says the testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, forever. Of course, the testimonies are sure. God keeps giving us testimonies. Like I said, what happened to me a quite um, some time ago, like just yesterday, that's a testimony. And so it tells you, it encourages you, it strengthens you, and it makes you know that this God we're serving, he's real. It's, it's true. He, he's there. He loves you that much. And he, he really, really wants the best for you. He will go all out to make sure that you enjoy all the goodness. He will make sure that you go all out to enjoy the holiness. He will make sure that you go all out to enjoy all the beauty of whatever he has called you to enjoy. So, of course, God, God is from everlasting to everlasting. You can trust him. You can count on him. Welcome, my friend, Jayla, Joanna, Talia. Hope I pronounced the name right. Welcome, I'm Jayla. Thank you. Thank you for coming on here. We are doing a chapter a day. We read a chapter of the Bible every single day. We create an audio Bible in the process. And then we study the word of God together so that that word can become a practical reality in our lives. That's exactly what we do on here. But also, we can just talk things or the word of God in a way that it can be a practical reality for everybody. And then we can relate with it and move on with our lives. So sometimes we actually give our testimonies of the things that God has done for us, the things that God has promised us, the things that God is doing in our lives presently. That's what we do. Sometimes we just do our quiet time on here. We talk about what God is saying in our quiet time and all that. So that's what we do on a chapter a day. And of course, we also bring ahead things that can be a blessing to anybody. It can help the person be their best version or help them to grow. We bring it on here. You can request to come live. You can actually also just remain in the comment section and put it on fire with your comments. Don't be held back. Don't feel restrained. That thing that God has given you, that thing that God wants you to say, maybe it's for someone. Someone is just one step away from having their big breakthrough. Someone is just one step away from committing suicide and they need you to say whatever you had to say. They need you to write whatever you had to write in the comment section and that will change their story forever. So never be held back. When you come on a chapter a day, feel free to be a blessing. So guys, this is where we're wrapping up with a chapter a day for today. It has been your favorite girl, Princess Clayton, Queen of Hearts and Laughter. I said the day I would say this thing and I don't laugh at it, I'll give myself a big treat. But I think that it's never going to happen anyway. So I should just let it go. I should just let it be. No matter how I try, sometimes I try to be like really, really serious so that I don't laugh, but I end up laughing. And on here, we get to create an audio Bible. And the audio Bible is to help you grow your faith. The Word of God says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So we desire that you come on here and get to grow. And of course, we also um, desire that you listen to the Bible and soak your spirit mind in the word. Sometimes you might be reading the word or listening and it makes no sense. But the day that is necessary, the Holy Spirit will bring it to your remembrance. He cannot bring to your remembrance what is not stored in your subconscious. So it's important that you begin to listen and let it be stored in your subconscious. So when the time is right, he will now bring it to your remembrance and you'll be able to use it to counter whatever the enemy is wanting to do with you or around you. So today we are going to pray that we should learn how to trust God. We should learn how to depend on God. We should learn how to obey God. Because when we do, his ways are past finding. They might seem stupid. They might seem foolish. But when you begin to obey them, you'll be in awe of what God can do. You'll be wowed. How do people go and how do people get into the lion's den and they're not ravaged, they're not destroyed? How do people get into a fire and they have a perfect AC inside the fire? How do people get from slaves, from being a prisoner to being a governor? How do people get from, I mean, being barren for 25 years to having a child that changes the entire world scenario? You know, like, just think about those things. How? It's only God. And because they followed, how are people be going to battle and they're going without weapons, but their weapons is only singing? Like, those things look stupid and foolish. But God's way, they're amazing. So trust this way. 
Father, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to teach us and help us, O oh God, to be able to wait on you, to trust you, to listen to you, to obey you totally and completely when you guide and lead us and direct us, O oh God. Because it's only in obedience, O oh God. Your word says obedience is better than sacrifice. You want us to obey and do all the things that we have to do, O oh God, to get the blessings that are ascribed to those things that we need to do. So Lord, help us, O oh God, not to try to figure it out, not to try to get logic into whatever you tell us to do, but to just go ahead totally and completely and be a fool for you. Yes, Lord, that's the word. We want to be fools for you. We want to just do as you want us to do. We want to just do as per your bidding. We want to just do as you lead us. We want to just do as you guide us. We want to just do as you instruct us, oh God. We don't want to do it our way. We want to do it your way. So Lord, help us. Grant us the grace, oh God, to be able to hear you first, obey you totally and completely and promptly too. Because partial obedience, we know it's disobedience. Delayed obedience is also disobedient. So Lord, we pray that we're going to be able to obey you promptly, totally, and completely to see the manifestations of your raw power in our lives, the lives of our brothers, sisters, parents, friends, relatives, and loved ones in and out of the nation. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing and answering us. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. We have our... Um, our audio Bible on TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. We're looking forward to having it on Instagram and other social media platforms. So be on the alert. When we started, we're going to let you know so that you're going to be able to also join us and be totally and completely blessed. Tomorrow is another day. We're going to have Psalm 94. We're going really fast, people. I'm so excited. I can't imagine. This is, we've gone way past half of the book of Psalms. That's interesting, right? Soon we'll be done with the book of Psalms. So you guys, just hang in there. Let's keep studying the word of God and our lives will never be the same again. Lord, we thank you for an awesome edition of the chapter today. today. We thank you for speaking to us in a special way. We thank you for going all out and blessing us and guiding us and directing us and leading us in the way that we should go. Let your word be engrafted on the fleshy tables of our hearts so that we'll go thereby. Let's not just be hearers of your word only. Let's be doers as well because the blessings come in the doing. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing and answering us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Until tomorrow. Ciao, ciao. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bisous, bisous.